like to do lots of stressful things. Yeah, we're always doing stressful things. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody! Hi. Welcome back for Real Z. Welcome back after a, a long time. A month. Um, yeah, so, that's assuming we actually get this posted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post yeah. It. Um, Could be so two a month ago we posted Esther coming home from her mission, mm -hmm. and then we had um, a few weeks before the closing on our house, and there was so much to do and to figure out that we filmed. But we didn't edit and post because we didn't. We had time to film what we were doing, but not time to then make it into a video because that takes longer than you think it will. Yeah, and also moving and all that process is not. It's not hard to actually document as well as you think. You mean it's, it is hard? It's hard to document and it's hard to make it like to get it into bite-sized sort of snippets. Anyway, so we didn't have the brain space to do all that. So we Let, need to explain what happened. Okay, so before we can go and explain anything, and that was also part of it. I burped. Also part of it is that um, we wanted to have a better idea of where we were going because, and we did actually, but we wanted to be able to tell you guys before we could like explain anything else. And so we kept waiting until we could do that. The last time we sp talked about it on here, the plan was to sell the house and then to rent something in the area that we thought we'd be in to like... While we looked. While we looked. Um, and that felt terrible <laughs> well the idea of renting yes well first of all we started looking there were no rentals so there wasn't yeah. anything during that few weeks that looked like anything that would match what we needed in yeah. a house because remember we're gonna move we want to move to the country up near where our kids are li our older some of our older kids are living but also want it to be somewhere where my parents could join us we weren't finding that so we thought okay well we can rent but then there was literally like two rentals and neither one of those work. Like they didn't have enough room for our family or yeah. they didn't have a garage. Like we need a, a weird, garage. Yeah. And, um, and also we have lived in so many houses in the last five years that we're like, oh my gosh. So we'll get into a rental and really they're going to want you to rent for a long time. Well, a year. The, yeah. You know, the year lease is pretty typical. Usually. And then we have to move again and... You know, like we said, there wasn't anything within like an hour. So we, then you're like, I'm like way far away and then I'm going to be driving. Anyways, then we said, why don't we just <clears throat> move into our RV and kind of like circle the area, you know, stay within a day's drive of the area um, while we look. And that felt surprisingly very good. Um, surprisingly, because we had lived in the RV during the renovation well the we RV traveled day. in it we lived in it more like consistently for a month during the renovation it was just horrible we, it was horrible we were in our we own hated driveway it. we didn't like it yeah and the rv had some <laughs> problems had some leaks and so hi your house okay well the side works that's good all right so uh, <laughs> this is where we've had our water leak so that has to be it's dry but what they're gonna do they're gonna well that we can't do. that we can't do. This is not a DI. Then my for my level of expertise, they're, <laughs> they're gonna remove the side. They're gonna fix the leak wherever that is. Pull this out. Weld some more supports underneath, and then replace the um, subfloor that's been damaged. We've also got some water coming in here. And and we, we got mushrooms. Growing. We have some mushrooms growing. Oh my gosh! Um, Show people what those look like. So this. This is another area that they're gonna look at. I can't figure out, but it seems to be coming from underneath. Yeah, you can see where it ran. The cabinets, right? So they're gonna remove that I'm as so well. So scared to open that. This is, we had a mouse infestation before. No, we're good. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, that's good. I, I had to seal up all the holes. So the mice looks like did not come back in. Next, the backslide. Backsliding right now. Here it is. Yeah. 
I'm always happy when the slides work. Putting out slides is like one of the most stressful things you can do. Okay, here it goes. There, it's out. It's good. We seem to like to do lots of stressful things. Yeah, we're always doing stressful things. <laughs> that was the other leak that's going to be fixed. This looks actually like it hasn't... That's kind of mm -hmm. remained... It's dry. Okay. So they're not wet, which means the cover worked. Okay, so it looks like beyond what we already knew was an issue, which is this stuff and that over there in the corner, and this, we're good. And we got it in the shop while we were during the moving process. And that is par in part why we didn't have a video because we wanted to like show you the RV and say, this is, we're going to move into this and, you know, travel around the area while we look for a house. But it was taking way, way longer to get fixed. I digress. Right. Don't get ahead of ourselves. So once we knew that we were new, we were packing to travel in the RV, which is different than packing to move into a house because there's no house to put all your stuff into. Right. Um, and as many of you know, we have been in the warehouse that's uh, around the corner from our house. It's like a huge warehouse that used to be like um, a fancy car garage for a guy who was a car collector. Huge meaning it was like 1600 square feet. Huge for a storage. Yes. Place. But the, um, and so it was a huge blessing to us as we renovated and as we, you know, our house was much smaller, but it also became kind of the joke was that it became like the room of requirement in Harry Potter. And if you haven't seen that, it's a very <laughs> messy place. And, you know, just like alleyways between boxes and furniture. And um, it was hard to keep it organized. Yes. Also, it was where my workshop was. So it was dust a lot all the time. And, Anyways, um, it was it was a blessing to have it. But it was also um, we knew that it wouldn't work. It was no longer working for a storage unit yeah. because we had a lot of mice getting into our things. It's not secure from the elements even because we had animals, we had birds, mice, squirrels. And then we also had um, rain. When it would rain really, really heavy, there were parts that would get wet. And, um, and then it wasn't cheap. Yeah, it's expensive. But it was also so full of stuff. It was like, how are we ever, ever going to get out? But... Mike did it. He yeah. Got us out. So oh, so go ahead. Well, I just say, we, yeah, we realized also just since we're not going to be there anymore, again, everything shifted to now moving into an RV. We're not going to be in that area, but we want our stuff stored. So we found a couple larger storage units that we assumed we could fit everything in. And we started the work of getting the the warehouse both organized, get rid of, a, reading, we got rid of tons of stuff and then moved.
which was amazing. <laughs> Good job. That was a huge task. It took like three solid weeks of, of being in there and, and all that simultaneously stuff. doing things at the house. This is the current landscape of the main living area of the house. It's not actually too bad when you look at it like this. We've got a few boxes laying around. We just need to finish up some of these boxes and it's the hard decisions of make of deciding what you're gonna pack when you literally have a few days left. Megan, one thing I realized is there, our table isn't here anymore, the big table. Yes. What okay. happened? We got that table, what, six years ago? Yeah. And yep, it was awesome ago. because it could seat 14 people, but we don't have 14 people eating around it most of the time. I have a hair. We have a lot of cat fur around here. The cats, yeah. the cats are shedding and it's like everywhere. Yeah. So it's been, it's been like back and forth on whether or not we we're going to keep it until finally with this move, I'm like, I don't want it anymore. It's, it's so big. It's so bulky. It's like great, but also like not super comfortable for yeah. everyday use. And so we listed it and a lady bought it to put it in her cabin. Perfect. That's the perfect use of yeah. that table. It's a rustic table. Yeah. Um, and so it's gone. It's made this room way bigger. So, so now this is our table. table Pretty awesome. From some messy cups from last night, yes. actually. Okay, I have sorted through my shoes so many times, and I even just pulled two pair out. But this seems like an excessive amount of shoes to have in the RV. I am out of practice on how few pairs of shoes I can have. So I don't know what to do here. We're starting to move the rest of the box is out so that Mike can see how much room we're gonna have left for furniture in our storage unit. So, so we're just trying to grab any boxes that are packed. That's, I don't know what that is. And then we will move the furniture over, I think tomorrow. Another thing that was interesting or difficult was um, we expected to have the RV in our driveway, mm. our travel trailer in our driveway three weeks before closing. So we could just be moving in there, everything that wasn't going into storage. But instead of being able to do that, we had to just start setting aside everything we wanted to take with us, or at least that we thought we wanted to take with us into the warehouse while we moved everything else into. So we were accumulating this like terrifying pile of stuff. I'm realizing we have a huge pile of stuff that's supposed to go in the RV. <laughs> Because well, there's a bunch of stuff at the warehouse, I know, this and then here, and then all this stuff. This is crazy to me. This is all this is all clothing and other things. That TV box is not included in that, but still, all that. And then everything over the warehouse, which is a uh, number. And then this stuff over here. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Well, because we would be able to know, like, this isn't realistic or we're fine if the RV were in our driveway, like we had planned on it being. Yeah, so, so we may be making some hard choices over the next, once we get the RV. Here we are. Pretty crazy. You know what got me tonight? What? When I was cleaning, I was wiping down the fireplace and I looked up and I saw all of our oh, hooks. Right. And I just thought, we oh, thought those wow. were gonna be there a long time. Yeah. So everything's clean, empty. Pretty much, yeah. And maybe tomorrow we can come back and do an empty house tour. All right, it's the next day. We had a great sleep at the Airbnb. That's not a joke. We were all exhausted from the day. The kitties did well there. And now we're back at the house for one last walkthrough. Okay, are we ready to go say goodbye to our sweet little house? Okay. Wild. We took the calendar down. We have it, we have it with us. It smells like wood, which is a good thing for it to smell like. Yeah, it can smell worse. Good job on the fridge, Jess. If you're wondering, there's tons of squirrels in our backyard. If you're wondering what's happening with the chickens, somebody is coming to get them today and then they're gonna come back and get the 
um, coop the day after. We are giving them away. Because the um, buyer does not want them. So here's our closet. It looks so big without any clothes in it. <laughs> our bathroom. There's our pretty window with the cling film. That's yeah, been that's super awesome. great. I love it. It's been a great house for us. You did a great job on it, babe. And then this room. We left those curtains because it wasn't worth the trouble of taking them down. So she gets some free curtains. I used to sleep right here. All right. There's a car. I used to sleep right here. I jumped by. Not my bed. I used to sleep. Oh, there's no soap here. Okay. Well, there you have it. It's very strange. I don't know what to feel or to think. So we closed on the house, which had its normal stresses of every house closing has. Yeah. Um, and then um, the RV still wasn't done. And so we had to move into, we just were like, because the, the thing that was hard is the repair shop was always telling us. Like two days, three days. Two days, three days. And so you're next like. Next week. Yeah, so through done. that whole three week period, including at closing, it's like, maybe it'll be ready tomorrow. And so we're like, okay, we'll book a couple nights at an Airbnb, a local Airbnb. We moved into that Airbnb, which is fine for us, but we have two cats. Yeah. And so, and cats are not like amazingly like, you know, easy travelers. At least ours aren't. Um, they're getting better. But, um, so we have to take them to an Airbnb and then the RV still wasn't done. So then, um, the RV still wasn't done and we're like, oh, can we stay a little bit longer in the Airbnb? And they're like, no, you're, it's booked. So we had to find another Airbnb, moved all of our stuff into that one and discovered, not discovered, but then became sick. You got sick. So sick. Really sick. In fact, I'm still kind of dealing with it. Yeah, so sickness. we moved we, into this next Airbnb. Which we didn't ever record, honestly. We didn't record any of that. Because by that time we were exhausted. You were getting really sick. And so yes. we didn't record any of that. So that we just, we were in, our, we were in an Airbnb for like five, ended four up, or five nights. It ended up being that long because the RV sh repair shop kept hitting snags. And the RV still wasn't done. And we were just in this... Airbnb kind of up on the edge of civilization it felt like I got I believe I got the flu mm -hmm. like influenza not like a stomach bug like sometimes we call that the flu like influenza I could not get out of bed like my stamina like walking up the stairs I had to just like lay down after that it was so miserable yeah um also it turned out the Airbnb we rented was like a brand new house so it didn't have like TVs. Oh, or very, like, very sparsely. Yeah, furnished. barely any furniture. And you, you, those are things you don't notice in the photos because it looks <laughs> nice. But it's like, well, it is nice, but if you turn around, there's nothing there. Yeah. And so it was just like me laying in bed and everybody just kind of milling around because it was always like just any minute. And um, finally, finally, the joyous day arrived. I started to get better enough. Mm -hmm. You started to get sick. Yeah. But not too sick at this point, <clears throat> and the RV was done. <laughs> it looks awesome! Looks really clean. Looks really good. Okay. So, excited about that. Should we like look inside before we like drive away? What's that? We like look inside, it's totally trashed. Look at that floor. Ooh, got a new floor. Looks, oh, looks good. good. Yeah, it does look okay, good. Okay, well, you can only see so much. It looks good. Okay, right. we have the RV. We are connected. Now it's time to move into it. What are we going to do? Well, I think we're going to go, we'll take it to... The limit one more time? Yes. And take it to the 
where all of our stuff is. We're gonna pull it in front of that. Get everything in there, hopefully. I don't know if we have, well, I don't know. We're gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna roll into the RV we're park go there, late see tonight. If we can get everything in there and get all situated. Okay, what a beautiful day it is in the neighborhood, our old neighborhood. We're pulling the RV in and here's our warehouse that we've been using for the last four years. There's our cute kitties waiting for us. <laughs> Here it goes. Now that looks a little weird there because it's been pressed against the cabinets. It has okay. this little skirt on it now. It looks a little bit more professional than it did. <laughs> yes, it does. These look nice. Looks really nice. So we have that, we have a piece of furniture that's gonna go here. We told him not to put back that one. A little dusty. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my Whoa, gosh. Whoa, lots of Very dust. dusty. process continues it's kind of crazy this is like again something we would have done over a period of months we're doing in like one evening right now one thing we did though is we removed there used to be a drawer here that had a sink and just now and we decided to rip it out well we didn't rip it out it just actually comes out oh, but okay. um, rip it out sounds okay. violent okay thanks so we just taken out and capped off the plumbing that was coming out here and now Megan's trying to put some of our pots and pans out here. Yeah, I brought these things, which are still amazing. I'm wondering if we need all these pots and pans, I guess. <laughs> okay, we'll find out. Oh, just you wait till you see what's in all the other cabinets that we put in there while you're gone. That's oh, really you're good like, if we wow. Well, we'll find out. If not, we'll, we'll yes, drop this some is weight. A, get it in, and then in the coming couple weeks, We'll figure it out. We'll be like, wait, we really don't need this, you know? Yeah. Okay, we are now getting dinner. It's almost seven o'clock. And after we get dinner, we're gonna go back to the RV and pretty much just move everything we haven't gotten in yet to the warehouse, close it up, put the kitties in the van and head to the RV park. The side is going in. We are somewhat situated here but we still have to get to the actual rv park this so. is actually miraculous everything we're able to fit in here i i, I cannot believe it i really can't <laughs> well, i mean they also look like this where it's like <laughs> good luck <laughs> but that's okay yeah all right so let's uh let's close it down we're gonna go okay we've arrived and while it looks great out here Oh, yes, right. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going in there. You come out this way. <laughs> it's not big enough for the both of us. This is what my bed looks like. So while Mike gets everything situated outside, I'm gonna try and get as much of this taken care of so that he can come in and not have to deal with it. Okay, now that our bed is made, Calcifer is safely tucked right there on my nightstand. Let's go see how everybody else is doing. Everybody's extra bedding is out here. Pretty crowded in here. How's it going? Good, Mom. I'm Great. here. 
Um, we have tons of extra bedding. Yeah. It's just fine. We yeah. Just put in boxes, I guess. So, okay. Well, Asher, now we need to get Peter, Pearl, Esther, <laughs> and a burp. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and um, Jude and Eve. Yeah. So, and then there's another half bath here if you forgot. So we obviously have some bedding to sort through, and um. Uh, I mean, everything to sort through. That one be hung up? Okay, so we're just getting situated. We're going through everybody's stuff and trying to find places for them. We thought this might work for everybody to put their clothes in, but we very quickly discovered it did not work for that. So we're going to go back to its original intent for now, for tonight, and we're having people put their shoes in it, which obviously there's a ton of shoes in this RV, so that will be really helpful as you can see. So, can you see? Did Jude show you? Or... <laughs> see, a lot of shoes. shoes. So, we're letting everybody bring in their suitcases one at a time. Is it to you now, Pete? Okay. Beds made. <laughs> Suitcase. More beds. So, yeah. Pretty busy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we got Eve and Jude down here. Hi guys. What? It's the heater. It's on for the first time. Oh. <coughs> and then Pearl's in the bathroom changing. You guys look like you're in a real. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, and so we should explain that along the way during those few weeks of realizing we were going to move into our RV, that um, that we maybe thought maybe we don't have to stay within a day's journey because we were just oh, going to kind yeah. of like um, hover and um, still haven't seen anything come on the market that is exactly right. But also realized that the last four and a half years of our life have been completely um, like, like there's been this big hanging over us. I wouldn't say cloud, but the house has been hanging over us for four and a half years. Mm -hmm. And we've been meeting with architects and draftsmen and we've been, you know, moving in and out of it. And like, it has just been, and like, do we tear it down? Do we add on this way? Do we add on this way? And we have thought so much about square footage and about everything, everything that has to do with this house renovation. And it made moving into the RV and traveling for a bit sound like the best idea in the world that our family just needed to, a break from house renovations and from houses like because when you're in that process with a house all of your extra time and funds are going to the house i'm sure anybody who's done a renovation knows this it doesn't really make sense to leave an unfinished house and go on vacation when like you need unless you're like super wealthy maybe you know maybe it's okay but yeah i guess so, but us, when you're self-funded and um <laughs> the funds are not a never ending it did we did a few we had a senior trip in that time uh, i mean we had a few senior trips in that time but um the whole family like all of our extra thoughts and create creative energy and all of that seemed to always just be going to the house and we had been starting to feel this like we need a reset we need time together we need you know that sort of feeling and it's like you start to realize like we have a little gap here um now I know what everybody's going to ask going to say what about your parents well for one thing we had always planned that my parents would come up next year and join us that it would be like at the end of next summer um and then we were like well it could happen sooner but then um my dad, who had the health diagnosis, went in to get more details, and they said it was much milder than they thought, and that um, it was not as progressed as they thought. And so that kind of took down everybody's, like, we all had, like, a little bit of a sigh of relief, like, okay, this is not as, like, imminent. It's like, that's still our plan to be with them, but, like, we've got, you know, everything's, we're okay for a little bit. And um, I mean, obviously my parents are almost 80. They still have health challenges. My brother lives in Charlotte still, my other brother does. And so he's able to go over there now that we're not there, but that's still the plan. It's just, we realize we've got a little bit of breathing room mm -hmm. and why not use just a little bit of time to go on some adventures again and to um, reset from the stress of the house. Cause moving into another house 
And thinking about all of that again was like, I can't, man, we can't do that. We need, <laughs> we need a little time away from that. So, um, so yeah, that's where we're at. We're in the RV now. That kind of caught you all up from that month. Sorry um, for the huge break in posting. It was just too, yeah. Too yeah, crazy. we were starting to get the messages wondering if we were alive or not, or if <laughs> our lives have fallen apart. It's like, no, they haven't fallen apart. We just moved. Well, it's kind of fallen apart in, yeah. a, in a good way. Well, though. you fall in apart and you build it back together again. But um, everybody's doing really well. Everybody's super happy. And we're nearly all healthy. Yeah, again. I'm almost there. Almost there. Getting there. But until next time, we're so excited to share your, with you all the memories that we're making out on the road. Yeah. And uh, we don't know how long we'll be doing this. Um, we don't foresee it being long, long term, but it's definitely going to be a little window of time where we're just all together and we're going on some more adventures again before we, the, before the next adventure of whatever house we end up moving into. So love ya. Till then. We'll bye. See ya. Bye.